na matokeo ya siku. Na tunaanza na taarifa hiyo na ni kwamba vikao vya seneti kwa siku ya pili sasa vimeendelea katika bunge la seneti katika mchakato wa kumngatua mamlakani naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa aliyekuwa afisa mkuu wa shirika la usambazaji dawa Kemsa Andrew Mule Mulo wa Kunradhi ameulizwa maswali na maseneta kuhusu madai kwamba naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa alimpigia simu kumshawishi utozaji zabuni aidha katika au katibu wa baraza la mawaziri Masi Wanjao na gavana wa Nairobi Johnson Sakaja wanatarajiwa kutoa ushahidi wao dhidi ya Gashagwa maseneta leo jioni pia wakitarajiwa kupiga kura ya iwapo Rigathi ataendelea kuhudumu kama naibu wa rais au atangatuliwa madarakani I have explained uh, that uh, the company that had been uh, awarded this uh, tender through the technical evaluation was Shobika Impex whose uh, local agent sole agent is uh, uh, is, is, is Crystal uh, Limited Mr. Speaker, sir. I have uh, walked uh, the Senate through the conversation that I had with the, <clears throat> the question asked by Honorable Dr. Boni Alwale uh, on what transpired and how we were able, I was able to get the bid board. Yes, beyond the financial loss, Mr. Speaker, the nets that we were supposed to buy, we were supposed to buy 14 million nets under KEMSA procurement. As a result of purchasing these uh, nets through the global fund WAMBO system, we could only purchase 10.2 million uh, nets. Global fund could only supply 10.2 million nets. That means Kenyans uh, lost uh, 2 point, uh, or th or 3 uh, million or so nets as a result. Observation may be in just a paragraph. What do you interpret happened about this tender from its inception in terms of the procurement, in terms of the management of the, the exercise and the conclusion as an officer whose responsibility is actually to investigate if there was any breakage of the law and if necessary make recommendation to the DPP? What conclusion did you reach when you were analyzing this matter? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Karen Yamu. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Dr. Mulwa, before this house, implicated the Deputy President in um, a scandal of the 3.7 billion Kemsar deal. In your own investigation, can you corroborate what Dr. Mulwa has claimed before this house? Thank you. Were they entities of interest in your investigation? Uh, secondly, has Shobika ever done any business with Kemsa or with Global Fund before the case on record? In your own investigations, did you find that? In your letter, I see you have recommended administrative action against the CEO, the acting director of procurement, and um, two procurement officers. Tazamaji tukisalia na taarifa hiyo ya kubanduliwa kwake au hoja ya kumbandu